So I've been asked to speak directly to people who have just received their mission call to the mission Peru Arequipa. Uh, let me start off by saying congratulations. You are going to you're going to the best mission in the world. Like I know everyone says it, but it is. It really is. Um, congratulations. I hope that you understand that you are building upon a foundation that others have laid. I hope you take very seriously the charge that the Lord has given you to work and to find people in that portion of the Lord's kingdom to bring closer to Him. I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I had to serve there. It was a very difficult and a very demanding time for me personally, for me spiritually and emotionally, intellectually, physically. It was all demanding. But I would not trade it for anything. And I hope that by the time that you are done with your mission, you will feel the same way. That you wouldn't trade your time there for anything. It dramatically altered the course of my life. And I'm very grateful for it. I hope that you take I hope you take the opportunity and the time to really consider just how much good you can do because you can. My mission president when I was in Arequipa was a man by the name of Arturo Fernandez. And he breathed new life into that mission. I personally got there about six months after he had been mission president. And so I was starting to be there when things were really thawing and, and the missionary work was really, really starting to take off. And I don't know you personally, and I don't know the mission president that you will have or the circumstances you will be in. I don't know how much they will expect you to work hard. I hope they expect you to work really hard because it's the best thing for you. And I hope that if they don't ask you to work hard, that you take it upon yourself to work hard and to continue the traditions of missionaries that have gone before you and have served honorably and have just laid it all on the line for two years. I also want to mention the temple. Um, they announced that a temple would be built in Arequipa in the last, uh, sorry, in the last general conference that I was there. I hope you understand that that represents the sacrifice of many missionaries, many members, and many other diligent laborers in the Lord's vineyard. That was a goal that we had looked forward to and we had prayed for earnestly every general conference from the time that President Fernandez came until the time it was announced. And there was such joy when it was announced. I hope you never take it for granted. I hope that you realize what a blessing that that temple is and what an answer to so many prayers that it has been. Point your converts towards the temple, please. Help them to understand the deep importance of that. And don't let anyone in that mission ever take the temple for granted. I know that when a mission, a mission or a city or an area gets a temple, there's a great uh, peak and then the number of people that go there typically drops off a little bit because people begin to um, understand that it's there. I hope that they never do. I hope that you can continue to point everyone towards the temple always because there have been so many faithful members that have rid, rid, rid on bus rides 18 hours, even 23 hours at a time to go from the very bottom tip of Peru all the way to the center of the country in Lima just so they can participate in those ordinances and just so they can be in the house of the Lord. So please don't ever forget about the temple. Please remember 
what an important thing it is. And above all, felicitaciones. Y yo estoy muy feliz por ti y por la oportunidad que tú tendrás para servir al Señor con todos tus esfuerzos, con toda tu alma, mente y toda tu vida. Y lo digo humildemente en el nombre de Jesucristo. Amén.